despite Remember, it, so it was about, like if you, you know, just there, there, and we leave that. And then, yeah, that's, so if someone, could I just get someone, um, just for, for a minute, just, um, could, could you, could you, could you, could you, could you come, no? No? Okay, don't, don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I asked. Um, forget it. Um, just, okay. afraid of anything in this world there's nothing you can throw at me that I haven't already heard (laughs) 
I'm just trying to find a decent melody, a song that I can sing in my own company. I never thought you were a fool, but darling, look at you. yourself together you've got stuck in the moment and you can't get out of it don't say that later will be better now you're stuck in a moment and you can't get out of it Enchanted by the light you brought to me I listen through your ears and through your eyes I can see You are such a fool To worry like you do Oh baby, I know it's tough And you can never get enough Of what you don't really something that we experience every day. Later in the talk, I will be looking at examples from comedy to demonstrate the comic potential of interruptions, which will be found, followed, in fact, by a series of interruption experiments with a live musician. Firstly, let's look at what an interruption is. Let's look at what an interruption is. Interruptions feature in the everyday life of um, everyone. Uh, that's a pretty uncontroversial statement. If we are interrupted in the workplace, it can be frustrating, tedious, or even dangerous. For example, being interrupted while driving. In a 2004 study, Victor Gonzalez. In a 2004 study, Victor Gonzalez and Gloria Mark found that people spend an average of three minutes working on any single event before. 
before switching to another event. Why don't you time yourself next time uh, before you trying to complete the task? Interruption. Interruption science. Interruption science is a branch of human factor psychology, which is the scientific study of the relationships and interactions between products, processes, and people. Interruption scientists have defined interruptions as the suspension of one stream of work prior to completion, with the intent of returning to and completing the original stream of work, the intention of returning to the task to complete it. The intention of returning to the task to complete it is... The intention of returning to the task to complete it is an important criteria. The intention of The intention of returning to the task to complete it is an important criterion and what differentiates the interruption from other types of disruption or simply abandoning a task altogether. Deborah Bowen Davis and Roger Remington's, I think rather beautiful, uh, Anatomy of Interruptions shows the psychological timeline of an interruption. Um, th th this, is, this is the Anatomy of Interruptions here this diagram, um, and I'll just, so just remember that because I don't have a slide for it. Um, so what happens in this is the process begins with the interrupt task, which provokes an alert. Which provokes, which provokes, which provokes, which provokes an alert. Once aware of the interrupt task, there is a disengaging from the origin task. And one must orient oneself. And one must. And one must. And one must orient oneself to the. And one must inter. Oh. And one must orient oneself And one must And one must orient oneself to oh, must, um, And one must orient oneself to the interrupt task, which will simultaneously suspend the origin task. The interrupt task will then begin at once, and once it's completed, and, and once it's completed, and subsequent difficult, and once, it, and once it's completed, and once, it, and once it's completed, and once it's completed. And once it's completed. And once it's completed and subsequent disengagement from the interrupt task has taken place, a reorientation back to the origin task will allow for the, for the origin task to continue. <coughs> the time to disengage, orient, and resume tasks is a contributing factor to what makes the interruptions irritating or frustrating. <laughs>
irritating or frustrating. <laughs> there are many factors from interruption science that can contribute to ease or difficulty of moving between tasks, including <laughs> including task similarity to the primary task, yeah, or how much we must adjust our thinking in order to adapt to the <laughs> Interruption complexity, or how much concentration is required to shift from the interrupt task um, to the uh, origin task, the level of complexity will correspond to the ability to seamlessly orient back to the origin task. Interruption duration. I interruption duration, like with the... Interruption duration. Interruption duration, <laughs> like with the interruption complexity, the, inter <laughs> the interruption duration will have. Oh, no, that's yeah. The interruption duration will have. A <laughs> the interruption duration will have an impact on the ability to effectively resume. <laughs> The interruption duration will have a direct impact on the ability to effectively resume that task before returning. Finally, availability of primary task retrieval. <laughs> score in front of them makes <laughs> for a performer having a script or score in front of them makes for a much easier <laughs> having a script or score in front of them makes for a much easier task retrieval <laughs> but expecting an audience to remember what sentence the reader was in the middle of without Subtitles or surtitles <laughs> will make understanding the sentence much more difficult. There are two types of interruptions. <laughs> exogenous and endogenous. Exogenous is an ex external interruption. For example, someone entering the room while you're writing. Endogenous is an internal interruption, such as looking up a reference while you're writing. But Instruction. Count to 10,000 as fast as you deem necessary. <laughs> Do not stop unless you're interrupted. Then give up and continue the sentence you were in the middle of. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 
twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one. could also include daydreaming. <laughs> In performance, an endogenous interruption might be a scripted one, or even scored, where ultimately the performer knows it's coming. For the audience, it might be... <laughs> some way I don't have the clip to show you, so um, it takes about six seconds to say the line, to tell, the to tell you the truth, I wanted the show to be about the difference between intimacy and affection, but it's quite hard to communicate. But this is turned into a one minute 43 routine, which... sequence of umming, tutting, and even farcical slapstick gestures that, ha that help land the joke of it being hard to communicate, we don't believe that the comedian is genuinely... We don't believe that the comedian is genuinely struggling to say this. A useful set of criteria for the discussion of interruptions in comedy is the benign violation theory, which stipulates that Humor only occurs when something that humor only occurs when something seems wrong, unsettling, <laughs> or threatening, i.e. a violation, but simultaneously seems okay, acceptable, <coughs> or safe, i.e. benign. A third criterion, a third criterion, a third criterion, It's very, it's not really worth seeing, it's just 
benign violation and then crossing over makes a benign violation. <laughs> um, walking down the stairs is benign. Falling down the stairs resulting in an injury is a violation. resulting in an injury is a violation, but beginning to fall before... <laughs> before regaining balance and ending in a bow is perhaps a benign violation, and we laugh. In comic performance, the cause of implausibility of the interruption being a genuine problem makes for a benign experience. But at the same time, we recognize the interruptions instruction. Please give it up for my special guest, Sam Worcester. My agitator for today. And um, buy merchandise. Buy the merchandise.